Hello friends! In this video I'm going to show you a super simple autumn tree that you can paint. So let's get started. I'm using my Fabriano cold press watercolor block and I will have all the supplies I used in the video description. So starting with some yellow ochre, getting it nice and watery, I'm just going to start at the top of the tree and I'm painting on dry paper here. I'm just making some random little marks and squiggles, various sizes and shapes to look more organic. Add a little bit more of a watery layer to look like the leaves more in the back of the tree. Give it some more dimension. For a little bit more brightness, I'm using some new gamboge yellow. Adding it on top of the wet areas and also on its own on some dry spots of paper. All of these colors I'm using are pretty warm, so it's really suiting for the season. Next I'm adding just a little bit of cadmium red. I have a little burnt sienna. Want to keep the colors somewhat in clusters so it looks a little more natural. And again, I'm just going over some of the pre wet areas, letting it charge into the other colors, and also just painting on some of the dry paper. Just trying to keep the shapes random and organic. Now I'm dropping in a little bit of water just to create some texture, some forced blooms. I'm going to make a shade of brown by mixing the burnt sienna with some sap green. And I'm going to paint a little hillside. A little bit more green here. And some more new gamboge. Just keeping the colors soft and warm with a little variety. And while that's still wet, I'm going to paint a loose trunk. Just painting it right into the wet leaves. And I'm just going to do some peekaboo branches coming right off the trunk into those clusters. Add a little cadmium red, make it even darker. 
mixing with that sap green. And just add it here and there on the trunk and the branches. I'm going to use my spritzer bottle to give it a light mist over the entire paper just to loosen up some of those edges. And a little bit more cad red over some of those areas to really punch up the color. And a little more new gamboge. I don't want to make it too full. I like seeing some of that white space in between the branches and the clusters. I'm going to add a little bit more of that uh, sap green just to make it look like some of those leaves have not quite turned yet. A little bit more of a spritz. I'm going to add some spatter. Just using some of the different colors that I used on the leaves. And a few more dark areas with some burnt sienna and a little bit more of that darker brown just to balance out some of those bright colors. I'm 
If you're a beginner watercolor painter, this project is perfect for you for fall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more art video tutorials. You can also leave suggestions for future videos in the comments, and to keep learning right now, click on one of these videos. Thanks again for joining me, and happy painting!